T-Man 978 Chill Review. Why, hello everyone, T-Man 978, filming on location, at least for this part. I want to open these. Um, I was lucky enough to walk into Target this morning, or a little bit earlier, and found Ben Riley Spider-Man and the Symbiote Spider-Man in the retro card. Here are other people in the wave. Yeah, there's that stuff right there if you want to read it. Here's this. Here's that image, which just shows you that you can swap out the hands. Nothing too fancy. And I'm going to open them and come back to y'all with a better, crisper, cleaner looking review. Alrighty now, folks. Here they are out of the packaging. Look in my description. If I don't answer any question you want want answered from me, well... Just, just do some Google searches for the things you need to know. But here's this. You would normally have this off camera because maybe it's attached to something. But of course, I've been having fun with them because they are crazy posable. They're using the same retro body that the other Spider-Man, the, the first retro Spidey had the one that was carded from maybe two years ago now. And I'm shocked that they took this long to start using it again. But yeah, let's take a closer look at them. Before we keep going, some people are gullible, so I have to explain things. They only come with two sets of extra hands. The wall crawling hands and the whipping hands. So yeah, besides their fist. I knew something wasn't right because he didn't have two wall crawling hands, but yeah, there they are. They do not come with the stand. Unfortunately, reading my analytics, I am I have discovered that most of the people watching my channel are not even subscribed to me. Like, that's cool that I can get like a bunch of new people watching me all the time or people that YouTube are just feeding them my video and they just don't hit subscribe. But unfortunately, that means I have to explain the same thing in every video over and over again. I get the same questions. The stand, these stands I got from my Thousand Toys, Devil May Cry 5, Dante, and Nero. That's where these stands came from. And this web I got from my Far From Home Spider-Man. So they do not come included. I do have an Amazon link in the description and I have a section called action figure enhancers that has all types of things you can use for 112 scale figures. All right, now I'm gonna just bring these guys forward and let you take in the details because you have eyes and you don't exactly need me to point out every freaking thing. But one thing would have been cool if they updated the arms to have the pinless well, the arms and knees that have pinless elbows and pinless knees since they keep taking a hiatus from this, this body. I believe this is only like the second and third time they use this same body. Since the first Spider-Man, I thought it was going to be like their ongoing body. But this one, I in particular want it very badly. Like when superheroes get a costume redesign, I... I'm typically not, I don't grow onto it quickly, but when I saw this, I was like, that is an awesome seat. The only thing messing him up really is the red pins right there, and that's why it would have been better if they upgraded from the pinless, up, upgraded to the pinless joints. This is the exact same body, just all black with the white paint where you normally see white paint with them. Both of them have peg holes in the bottom of their feet, which can help for posing on stands and whatnot. Um, only thing might grab people by surprise or, or be off-putting is there is a cutout in the back of the neck. Plus, you probably could see it better with this one. But, when you really think about it, now that I'm looking at it, that kind of bugged me before, but that's no different from having a hinge in the back of the neck. It still breaks up the sculpt, so what you gonna do? 
Look at that, that stretch clothing pattern between his butt cheeks. All right, let's get the comparisons out of the way. This is the first retro wave Spider-Man right here. It's funny how this right here, that design, makes his waist look way more slimming. And even on him, too, even though they have the same exact body, his sides look a little bit wider as a result of that color contrast. But same exact body on all of them. They're a little bit more broad. And here's a picture of the symbiote Spider-Man that I took from the cartoon to let you see how more muscular he was on the cartoon than previous versions. Here's this right here. This newer body was already a, an upgrade from this one right here that I really liked. This was my favorite freaking Spider-Man mold for a minute and then I used it for the PS4 Spider-Man. And this is the alternate, alternate head from this guy because he had a big like Captain Britain head. But as you can see, they're pretty much shaped the same. But they added articulation to, the, they added articulation. I'm going to run through it if you forgot what the added things were. All right, and they were a definite upgrade from this Pizza Spidey body. Everybody lives and dies by the Pizza Spidey body, but I was never 100% happy with it. And I can't even prove that because I didn't do a real review on him. My review was super goofy on that figure. But... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I talked about it in other times. I, I know I did a review on this. But here's my main problem with the Pizza Spider body. Damn near a lot of them have warped legs out of the package. They didn't give it like a boot swivel at all. The arms typically go out to the side very wide. And it's difficult to get them crunched in. And now that I'm messing with them again. They all have this going on right there <laughs> but besides those articulation point things they were at least decent but um here's the last time they gave us or one of the last time they gave us ben riley his color pattern as you can tell is darker of course they went with the more animated style so things are typically brighter in the cartoons both of their little web shooters can come off if you want and just look like his arms but the design is pretty still close the eyes are bigger the eyes are definitely bigger here where they went with the whole McFarlane I can't even I can barely get him standing up as opposed to this and I already showed that image earlier they definitely went with the animated look for the eyes here and yeah, the spider is shaped a little bit different as well. This spider, yeah, it's, it's slightly different too. I didn't notice that. But still basically the same. And all these have peg holes on their back. Here they are next to my permanent comparison crew right here. <laughs> Since I, I just have them laying here. Here's some other things I got laying around. My Mesco Spider-Man that I mentioned. The PlayStation Miles Morales. And Fortnite Sky right there. From Hasbro. Alright. Now articulation. I'm going to use him. Because colors are easier to see than that. Or you can see the joints easier. But the head can look down that much right there. It can look up that much but it's a little bit gappy because of the way they decided to design things of course you can tilt the head left and right and all that type of jazz and this and that the arms can go out that much if you force it you can go back a ton come forward and let's bend it this way to see how much he can come inward on this it probably let me try to bend it down first now it can come in with that much the elbow bends like that much it's more than 90 degrees but it's not a ton this goes in and out and rotates he's on a diaphragm joint when they started doing this on the 12 inch marvel legends i begged in my reviews like please do that 
in the sixth sense figures. Like, wow. If y'all do that and add all types of other articulation and hands and faces and whatnot, I would gladly pay $25. Then they started charging $25 and didn't add all that. <laughs> you get all of this on top of that. Awesome. You got the drop down hips. Which of course can make him kick up. Definitely 90, but if you twist twist the um, the hip joint, you can you can kick up higher, as you would imagine. You get the thigh rotation. Luckily for me, I proof watched these things while I'm editing. I this stopped recording while I was filming. But his knee bends that much. He has the boot rotation, which can look weird on him, especially because the pattern changes. The foot kicks back. The foot kicks forward and you get the angle pivot. And to show you again, here is the peg hole. Digging in my lunchbox, Rube the Great gave me, I'll grab some accessories to see if they will actually work on him. But here he is naked without the shooters and here he is with the shooters on. Well, let's see if the previous versions of this guy's accessory will, will work on him. Like here is the carnage head. I guess he turned the carnage at some point. It looks big enough, but yeah, yeah, you can force that on there. The color match is not that too far off, honestly. Um, let's see if the hands actually fit in there because hands, they definitely change. Oh, 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 they actually work. So, oh, oh, I bet you nobody else did this. Or maybe they did. I don't know. I just saw D Amazing put up <laughs> a review before me, so snooze you lose. There you go. But you can do that if you like. And I actually have this guy out here too. I mean, it's a red fist, but he is half carnage. Maybe you can paint it yourself if you was that pressed. And this does have the hinge like that on it. Yes. Now at this point, I thought it would be cool to recreate some some of my go-to poses that I like to do since these guys have the articulation, like the free fall pose right here. Typically, they don't have like one leg just or both legs out. They would have like one leg forward, kind of like a flying trapeze artist type person but there's the free fall right there here <laughs> I forgot to take this off <laughs> hopefully it comes off hold on get off yeah there we go so that wasn't too difficult but let's see if I can actually get yeah there we go and I'm gonna attempt the superhero type landing this pose with this guy I mean, I do kind of, they did put that cut out, but I do wish that the neck could look up higher. But you can get the, the ankle pivot out, have the hand down. You just have to pose the other foot for balance. And depending on how the camera angle is, <clears throat> it won't matter. But the most important thing is getting the foot flat. I hate when I see people post pictures and they don't have the ankle pivot like completely flat. So you might have to raise up on the other side to get that to happen. But here he is in your typical superhero Spider-Man type pose. You might not be looking from this angle, but it still doesn't look that bad. But there's an example. And yeah, you can do all types of high flying stuff with these guys. And they're great. I love them. If you're still watching, thank you very much. I'm going to put a link to them on Amazon where they are probably sold out. 
But maybe they'll, depending on when you're watching this, it may be back in stock and at a good price. Good luck. I walked in the Target, found them. The Target website is actually accurate. If it says they're in stock, they're more than likely in there. And if you get there and they can't find them, just keep going back to that store. That Eventually, they're going to find them and put them back up. But, yeah, I'll definitely like both of these. They're definitely different styles of the same body. And they're both great. So, if you like both of them, and this guy's a clone, you can't have both of them in your... In your um in your collection. Plus, there's a whole Spider-Verse thing anyway, so you can have as many Spider-Men as you want. Anywho, thank y'all for watching this. Until next time, T Man 978. Out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click the channel.